I thought I'd take a little bit of digression here to uh, discuss some concerns raised by our church friends about separation of families. Many of the criticisms raised in recent days are not fair, not logical, and some are contrary to plain law. First, illegal entry into the United States is a crime. It should be, it must be, if you're going to have a legal system and have any limits whatsoever. Persons who violate the law of our nation are subject to prosecution. If you violate the law, you subject yourself to prosecution. And I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. Orderly and lawful processes are good in themselves. Consistent, fair application of law is in itself a good and moral thing, and that protects the weak. It protects the lawful. Our policies that can result in short-term separation of, of families is not unusual or unjustified, and it's really a very short period of time. Normally, the uh, adults are only held uh, in custody for a week or two or three um, before they would enter a plea of guilty for time served and allowed to go home and with their children. Our policies that can result in short-term separation are not unjustified. American citizens that are jailed do not take their children to jail with them. Non-citizens who cross our borders unlawfully between our ports of entry with children are no exception to this principle. They are the ones who broke the law. They are the ones who endangered their own children with this trek. The United States, on the other hand, goes to extraordinary lengths to protect these children while the parents go through the detention period.